I think there's a lot of companies today that proclaim that they're solving problems, but I think at Bayer that really is the truth and that we are solving several problems from a global standpoint. We are not just doing difficult problems for the sake of them being difficult, even though that, that fires up a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's, there's real impacts. One thing we do at the research farms is give folks within digital farming the opportunity to actually speak to a grower firsthand. I think it helps all of us at digital farming stay connected to what the growers are finding valuable within the tools and capabilities we're developing, uh, but also understand what are the current challenges with the growers. I couldn't agree more. So raise your hand if you have a traditional background in agronomy or agriculture. Jerry, <laughs> which I think is awesome and, and really speaks to our group here in that we come from different walks of life, different you know countries, states, um, and we have such diverse backgrounds. I did my undergrad in Mexico uh, in genome sciences, and so I thought that the last I was going to hear about plant genetics was like the course in, in my second semester or something like that. I'm a software engineer on the iOS team. When I started out as an intern, uh, summer of 2018, um, I had a little bit of experience from a startup where I was just kind of doing everything, like some iOS, some Android, all kinds of things. And yet now I'm a senior engineer. I've mentored two interns over the past two summers. One of them just came back full time a couple months ago, and she's already doing like really cool work. With data engineering, the fun story is that some you get to put different caps on. So some do you're like a software engineer, you're coding, you're trying to develop a solution. And there are days when you're working in research and you're trying to analyze, is this tool great? So you get to play like multiple roles, multiple hats. Yeah, definitely don't have a background in agriculture. I, I love agriculture just because it's so scientific. People don't realize how much science really goes into how we manage our crops. And I am really passionate about sustainability. One thing I love about digital farming is there's so many experts within our organization that I know the door is open. You can reach out to them. You can ask them, like, what are your thoughts on this? Correct. And even if the question has been addressed before, they like go out on a limb and help you out and they double explain if need be. Right. I think the, the unique thing about our workplace is that so many people are willing to jump in and help. Yeah. And uh, over the past year, my wife and I welcomed uh, our second daughter. And I've just been uh, amazed at the number of people that, without asking, have came to me and offered to help fill in in places when I had to be out. And so it just speaks to the culture we have, that not only we have a lot of experts, but they're willing to help their coworkers out. And, and genuinely, like yeah. they, they genuinely are, are caring and compassionate and want to help each other out. Yes, yes, 100%. One of the special things about our culture here, we're never striving for perfection. We're always looking to experiment so we can better innovate and serve our customers. We love to facilitate this safe to try mentality. Particularly in modeling, uh, we are experimenting in how do we elevate everybody's voice uh, for leadership. So what we're asking uh, of them is, hey, help us run things better. I like that overall the mentality is we don't need to do processes just for the sake of it. That's what it's about, experimentation, right? I think like the main enemy to safe to try is perfection. You really need to be able to prototype, you need to be able to break things into smaller pieces, um, have some proof of concept. As an engineer, I like to plan, I like to architect, I like to build, and knowing that if it doesn't work, that's okay. Early feedback is super important, so it's really um, vital that we can um, get this stuff moving, get it into people's hands, and deliver them bite-sized functionality. Why do you guys do what you do? What really gets you up in the morning? Having the opportunity to really help our customers and understanding that the work that they do is hard work, being able to play a role in just making their lives a little bit easier and, and just delivering value and assistance to them. Like most of my colleagues here, I really enjoy tackling challenging problems and there's no shortage of those here. Um, I was always a math, physics, uh, and then later computer science kid. So whenever I'm working on like a tough project, um, getting into the office and just grinding for a few hours, you know, filling up a whiteboard is like really exciting for me. Growing up on a family farm, I developed a passion for agriculture at a young age. 
Today I live in a community where farming is primary occupation. My family still farms. Many of my close friends are farmers themselves. And so, you know, I have a real passion for uh, helping them produce more while also protecting the fields that uh, they, they work in. So for me, as cliche as it sounds, the people. I mean, they keep challenging me in ways that I didn't even know I had in me. Everything that I've studied about like machine learning, artificial intelligence, big data, actually applying it to real world problems and seeing how the impact of digital farming at Bayer is to the global community, that is what motivates me every morning. 